Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio. <clears throat> there was a study done recently about heartburn medications. That are called uh, proton pump inhibitors or PPIs for short. And there and there are also what are called H two blockers. Well, according to this doctor, um Zayed Al Ali, Director of Clinical Epidemiology at the VA St. Louis Healthcare System. He's saying that. All prescription, all prescription medication, all prescription medication that you get be um, from the pharmacy. All prescription strength medication. Nexium, Prilosec, Privacid, Zantac, and the generic forms. that if you take them long term you're at risk for kidney disease and, and possible death there's I copied it off here's what he says but down here he says that if you have says uh, prescription versions of both PPIs and H2 blockers treat serious conditions such as upper gastrointestinal tract bleeding, gastrointestinal reflex <clears throat> disease or GERD for short, and ulcers. And it says uh, lower dose over the counter versions are usually only treated for basically just heartburn and indigestion. But when you have a disease which is called GERD, you have to take the prescription strength. There's been something some developments in Renee's Medicaid insurance. They saw this study. They saw this study done by this doctor and his colleagues. And they came out and they said, well, we're, we're taking everybody, everybody off of other can, um, uh, the prescription strength medication, even for GERD and Barrett's esophagus. Renee has GERD and Barrett's esophagus. People who have Barrett's esophagus is high risk for esophagus cancer. Now, any doctor or nurse would know that. My doctor, when I was first diagnosed back in 95, and then with, with GERD, and then diagnosed with Barrett's esophagus after I had a uh, upper GI done. Back in May 11th of 1989, wrote this letter for me. That stamp there mean that stamp there is from the uh, Department of uh, John Family Services when uh, 
had to file this with them. But it says Robert McKim has been followed by, excuse me, followed for gastroesophageal reflux and Barrett's esophagus. The Barrett's esophagus is considered a chronic, lifelong proposition that will require long term use of at the time Prairie said now, uh, Nixon was not even out yet a uh, couple other medications as well on top of the Prairie because Prairie by itself wouldn't work not for me And of course, you know, I would have to have uh, periodic endoscopy done. Basically, they like doing it on me like one, um, every two years to every three years, sometimes once a year. Depends on the doctor. I'm, so I'm seeing now a doctor for, excuse me, for my, uh, from my GERD and uh, my fatty liver at the same practice where Renee sees a doctor. Currently, I'm on Nexium. I've been on Nexium for several years now. I don't have, I'm not, my kidneys aren't uh, dying. So that, that Zyad Al Ali didn't uh, consider me in his uh, test. He didn't talk to me, he didn't ask me. And then again in 2011, my doctor wrote another letter, basically similar to the uh, letter that I just showed you. But this time he has been here where I also have the LPR reflux as well. Talks about the, you know, Barrett's esophagus, you know, again, uh, is, is lifelong and high risk for um, cancer, but also got here that uh, long term use of Nixon and Zantac. And then also, uh, of course, at the time I was seeing uh, a different doctor that he, you know, as on here. Because the doctor was on here, he's just uh, basically a surgeon, but he did the tests. Now I'm seeing a gastroenterologist for my GERD and my fatty liver. The thing is, they, like I said, because of this, uh, Renee has been taking the, um, name brand. the name brand of uh, Prevacid which is 30 milligrams she has plenty here in this bottle yet but they told her stop taking this instead take this let me turn around here so you can actually see. Take this. Over the counter. Problem is with this, it's half, half of the milligrams. This is 30 milligrams. This is 
it's only 15 milligrams. Tell me, how is it that 15 milligrams of over-the-counter fruicid is supposed to help when 30 milligrams is what is required for GERD? Answer that question. Why are you wanting to side with this stupid stupid study that didn't uh, take me and Renee into account. Well, of course it did. In a way. But, it's like they don't even care about that part. They care more about oh, there was a study done. Now we gotta take everybody off of the prescription and put them on the weaker so that's what this is. This is a weaker form of the prescription medication. So they want to put everybody on the weaker form of the prescription medication. Supposedly to save their kidneys. And to save their lives. But how is it going to save their life if they die of esophagus cancer? Answer that question. Save their kidneys and kill them uh, another way. That is what is happening in our country today. We are living in the last days, people. We are living in the days of Noah. We are, because of all the stupid science stuff that's been going on. See the signs. Listen to the signs. Jesus is about to return in the clouds. He's not returning before all this stuff, before the uh, Antichrist is revealed. He, the, he said, Jesus said, you will see, 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 S-E-E, -E, with your own eyes, before I return, the return of the Antichrist. The son of perdition. You will see him before I return in the clouds. He's not talking about the second coming when he steps his foot on the Mount of Olives in Jerusalem. He's talking about his return in the clouds to gather the elect, that, that which is called the rapture. We will see. We will go through some tribulation and we will see him, the Antichrist, revealed first. Which means in, in everything I have studied proves that there's three and a half years of tribulation for the Christians and then the rapture. And then another three and a half years of tribulation, or great tribulation, for the people who's left behind. Even Christians will be left behind because they're not really born again. They're just playing church. Because they don't have the guts anymore. They're led to see in churches. Jesus said he's coming like a thief in the night. Why? Read Revelations. Because uh, you're asleep. You're asleep at the will. The ch a lot of churches are falling asleep at the will. They're no longer doing what he wants us to do. And I, I'm doing it. And because I'm doing what he wants me to do, I... I'm hated for it. Speaking up against uh, saying that, for one thing, I say, and I will always say, being a homosexual, lesbian, whatever you want to call yourself, it's homosexual. In, in, in God's eyes, it's homosexual. Man sleeping with a man, woman sleeping with a woman, or whatever you want to sleep with.
other than what is not what is not natural. is an abomination <clears throat> basically it makes God's stomach turn makes him nauseous it's not a lot of people say it's a sin what's a sin a, a sin is when you willfully disobey God not just his commandments but uh, everything that he has set forth to be natural so yes it's a sin and it's an abomination not to be natural but there's a lot of people says well I was born this way no I'm gonna tell you what's going on Satan and his demons this is his this is Satan and his demons domain the earth is his domain he was not cast into hell like uh, hell is in the ground somewhere uh, it, down in, in the core of the earth Jesus wasn't cast into the core of, I mean not Jesus excuse me Satan was not cast into the core of earth, earth and when Jesus died on the cross where did he go to release he went into Hades Hades is basically another realm of existence that we cannot see with our naked eyes. We have to be out of these bodies to see this other realm. And I strongly believe it's like another dimension that parallels our dimension, but yet they can see us, we can't see them. And then this is where hell is, or Hades. But at the time that Satan is bound for a thousand years. And Jesus and the elect rule with Jesus Christ. Satan will be bound for a thousand years, Satan and his demons. And then after that thousand years, in Revelation 20, it says he will be released again for a short time to tempt the people on earth. And then will come the second death, death and Hades, Satan and his demons or angels and all those who still refuse to follow God will be cast into the lake of fire, lake of fire, not hell, because we're here already. This is hell on earth. But we can't see it. Problem is, a lot of people are being possessed by demons. They're being controlled by demons. Their minds are being controlled by demons. And that's why they lash out at people like me speaking the truth. Because that's what they're good for. 
to lash out and make fun of people who are doing the will of God the Father and His Son Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. The one who sent me back after a near-death experience. Now, I know some person that keeps constantly making fun of me. But one of these days, you will see. You will see. With your own eyes. And you will bow before him. And call him Lord. Just like everybody else. And at that time you will know. Bob was right. But here. On earth right now. Satan and his demons are running around like. Running around like a lion, seeing who they can devour, to pretending to be angels of light, inhabiting the minds of people on earth. And when Satan fell, he took a third of the angels with him. We don't really know how many angels that is. God made I'll just put it this way many angels. Satan was an angel and he rebelled. Now you want to be like God. Well, that's that's the end of my rant. For now. God bless you. Have a blessed day.